Hold on, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Okay, we good. So if I sneeze, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, hey, this is Jazzy Ray here. I hope I didn't say Gemini Queen in that last video, but Jazzy Ray here. And we're back with another video. Je Gemini Queen been dead, okay? Um, so this is another birth chart reading. I am reading for um, Megan. Um, you asked me for a birth chart reading. And I'm giving you this birth chart reading. I hope the angels can help guide me in guiding you. So, um, again, if you want a birth chart reading, get it while it's free now. Because since I'm getting such, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of um, requests in a couple of weeks. I am going to start charging, but nothing crazy. I will have a video coming out. Um, talking about the prices and discounts and things like that. So I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it. I'm not trying to like play y'all. or I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not a scammer out here. I'm going to offer discounts and things like that because to me, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this to, this is what I like, love to do. So, but gonna have I got I got shit to pay for so you know but I'm about to charge y'all up the ass that's 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 not what we do around here I'm I'm very generous and if for some reason you want a reading and you can't pay for it when I start charging we'll work something out okay like I probably give it to you on the house because that's just the type of person I am but anyway on to the reading so we're reading from Megan um I'm gonna take this camera because I'm not about to edit shit. So, this, I don't know if you can see it. This is your birth chart. Um, Scorpio is your sun, which I knew that. Um, your moon is Cancer. Your Mercury is Sagittarius. Your Venus is Capricorn. I'm sorry, my nails are in the way. Um, and your Mars is Cancer. And your Ascendant is Gemini. Ooh, it's Gemini season. And then over here, look at that. We're gonna discuss that. I hope this apply, like what I'm about to say, applies to you. But we're gonna get it going. I hope you can see me. Can you see me? I hope you can see me. Okay. Um. So let's get started on your sun sign. Now your sun is who you are, your overall personality. So even throughout these planets, Scorpio is gonna show up. Like you're still a Scorpio. Like it's gonna show up. But it's just how you express it. You see what I'm saying? So, um, Scorpio, um, it's a feminine sign. It's a water sign. The quality is um, fixed. And I'm going to explain this with every reading, every reading I do because people are confused about what fixed and what cardinal and what mutable is. So, a fixed sign is pretty much like it's really no need to keep up with a fixed sign. If you're dealing with a fixed sign, like if you're dating one or if you're friends with one, there's no need to really keep up with a fixed sign. You kind of already know what their moves are, what their plans are, because they stick to one plan. Unless they want to change the plan around, they mainly stick to one plan. Like you kind of know what they're going to do. Mutable signs, you have to keep up. By the way, fixes Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. Mutable signs are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and let's say Virgo Pisces <laughs> Pisces um you gotta keep up with a mutable sign they are all over the place um I know people looking at me like what are you doing <laughs> they're all over the place and they just you never know what they're gonna do next and cardinal signs are Aries Libra Capricorn and Cancer cardinal signs means action They're all about the action they don't really want you to keep up with them because it's like they rather do things on their own and they 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 work hard at what they do um what else did i write down oh uh, your ruler is pluto pluto is a very dark planet very dark planet um but that doesn't mean you're a dark person but pluto is a dark planet scorpio as a whole you know, I feel like Scorpios get the worst reputation ever. In fact, in fact I used to shit on Scorpios. 
Um, your polar opposite is Taurus, um, which means y'all similar but not the same thing. Um, so it, it's like with your polar, it's like you're supposed to like marry your polar opposite. I don't agree with that at all. Um, and your likable trait is idealism. Okay. So, I didn't really take any notes down because I kind of know the gist of the Scorpio. Um, Scorpios, like I said, are the most misunderstood signs. Um, they have this reputation of being whores, um, evil, crazy, all type of stuff. But here's the kicker about Scorpio. Now, I'm not saying Scorpio can't be promiscuous. Anybody can be promiscuous. But Scorpios are very emotional and they don't just tie to anybody. You know what I mean? They don't just sleep with anybody. They don't just befriend anybody. You know, they're very secretive, but they do that for protection um, because they don't want to get hurt. So it's like with Scorpio, you know when a Scorpio is down with you because a Scorpio, when they really like you, they open up. They open up a lot. But if they don't like you, they're not going to open up. Um, they, they have emotional attachments. Which can kind of scare people. But they mean it. They love you, you know. But, and they trust you. That's the thing. Scorpios have trust issues. Not all Scorpios, but most Scorpios do because they just don't want to get hurt and because they're so emotional, people take advantage of that. So, um, Scorpios, they get the worst rep, man. I used to hate Scorp hate on Scorpios. I ain't gonna say I hate Scorpios, but I used to hate on Scorpios, but I've met a few Scorpios in my life and I've really grown to understand them and they are the most misunderstood sign. I'm not saying, I'm a Gemini, so I'm not saying dating wise, Scorpio and Gemini go together, but what I am saying is is that they are the most misunderstood signs. So we need to stop hating on Scorpios because they're so misunderstood, you know? So let's get to your moon. Now your moon, your moon sign describes your emotions. And when I did your birth chart, it actually kind of works out because your moon is Cancer. And moon is Cancer's ruler, okay? So Cancer is also a feminine sign. The duality is war, not duality, yeah. Du Duality, I'm messing myself up. Duality is feminine. <laughs> um, your element is water. Um, what else did I write down? Your quality is cardinal. So action. Um, your ruler is the moon. I just said that. Your polar is Capricorn. Again, it could work, could not work. Um, and your likable trait about cancers are loyalty and I have to agree with that because cancers are extremely loyal They're loyal to you until you give them a reason not to be um, Cancers it kind of works um, Cancers are also emotional. I'm not gonna lie. I do hate on cancers <laughs> For being so emotional and sensitive, but they do that because they care about you They care they look at the family life, you know the fam. I hope you guys can hear me because people are mowing lawns, but um the cancer life like like that they love Family they love to be around their loved ones They're nurturing they're just loving people um, they can be a bit manipulative at times, but They mean well <laughs> Um, they don't really like confrontation, not because they're scared of confrontation, because they just prefer it to be peaceful. But trust me, a cancer will go there if they have to. Um, they just loving people. I don't, you know. <laughs> but cancers are really, they're loving people. Very loving people. Um, so let's go to Mercury, which is Sagittarius. Um, I did take a couple notes. For Sagittarius um, Sagittarius your mercury sign is for communication and your mercury is Sag Sagittarius so the duality is masculine so Sagittarius is a masculine sign the element is fire um, they are immutable their quality is mutable which means they're all over the place um, their ruler is Jupiter and Jupiter is the planet of optimism so yeah um, polar is Gemini. We ain't, we're not going to get into that. Um, <laughs> and their likable trait is optimism. So, with 
Sagittarius, they're very, they're deep thinkers. They are the, the philosophers of the zodiac. So they prefer to um, um, communicate with people who are able to have debates, healthy debates, um, and just who are deep thinkers and very intellectual like they are. Um, they're very um, humor, whatever, distracted. Um, <laughs> They are very humorous, so they're hilarious. Like they're funny, um, so they like people who are funny that can make them laugh. Um, they're learners. They love to learn things, and you know they, they you know, they, there's nothing wrong with learning. Um, also, they're very strong in opinions. Like they're very opinionated, which is why they have debates a lot. Another thing about Sagittarius, this really has nothing to do with communication sometimes they're not one to argue i'm not saying sagittarius is don't argue but they run away from stuff like that like if it's going too far they they tend to run away from it and it's not because they don't like confrontation they just think it's stupid like at this point like okay you went too far i don't want to argue i just want to have a healthy debate and we're just going to leave it at that um so that's that's pretty cool that your um mercury is Sagittarius your Venus is Capricorn Venus is how we love and how we want to be loved so Capricorn is a feminine sign um, it's an earth sign its quality is cardinal um, ruler is Saturn which is like the total I don't want to say it's negative because Saturn represents discipline hard work money <laughs> money um and your polar is ca cancer um and like will trade steadiness so as a capricorn um when it comes to love you want a partner that's very disciplined and who's goal oriented and serious i'm sorry it's just be flying around um very serious um capricorns can be loners but to some people that could be attractive and they like people who stand on their own you know they, they don't have a posse of people backing them up like capricorns love that um they it seems like capricorn is like very distant when it comes to their lovers but in all actuality they do want love it's just they don't show it in public they're very discreet and they keep their business to their, themselves as long, you know they don't really like to show off a lot they really don't I mean they do sometimes but they don't really like to show off um they're very conservative so <laughs> I'm not saying Capricorns can't be freaky but you gotta work them into that you know or maybe you just naturally that way I don't know um and they're always willing to commit as long as you know the, the partner your partner is serious as long as as long as Capricorn's partner is serious about committing they have no problems with committing um and they're realistic they're they are so like the opposite from Pisces because Pisces like if you're Pisces if you're Pisces or if your Venus is in Pisces they tend Pisces tend to believe in the fantasy world and they don't see the reality of the situation Capricorn is not like that Capricorn sees the reality of the situation and that's just that it is what it is you know if it works out it works out they don't if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know now your Mars is cancer um you already know about cancer we're not gonna you you know but um so cancers like I said before they're extremely loyal they're family oriented I'm basically repeating the same thing um people think cancers are weak minded but they're not Cancers will kick your ass if they have to. They don't want to, but they will if they have to. Um, they're very protective. I forgot to mention they're very, very protective over loved ones. Um, sex is, because that's what your Mars represents. Your Mars is how you go about getting whatever it is that you want. So your drive, your anger, your aggression, your sex, sex drive. Um, that's why I'm not really repeating everything because, like I said, they're family oriented. They don't really like confrontation, but they will if they have to. Um, sex is an emotional thing to them, just like Scorpio. Um, 
the nurturers actually if you want like somebody to turn you on like to a cancer the thought of having a family that will get a cancer hot because they love the family life um and again like they could be i wrote argumentative and manipulators emotional peaceful basically everything i just said um so next get into your ascendant which is gemini i'm a gemini <laughs> so duality gemini is a masculine sign the element is air um quality mutable um polar opposite is sagittarius um what is that right oh the ruler is mercury um which means you're a good communicator um and like will Dre is responsiveness i guess i guess i guess <laughs> um so ascendant sign or rising sign is how you express your personality so yes you're a scorpio but you're very expressive so i would say you're a scorpio who loves expressing herself um i say gemini is kind of similar to scorpio the only difference is gemini's don't really because scorpio sometimes can have a dark side Gemini can have a dark side, but we tend to mock the dark side a lot. <laughs> um, but they, Gemini's love expressing themselves through their hair, their makeup, their clothes, um, through writing, drawing, whatever it is that allows them to express themselves. And if you take away that right for a Gemini to express himself or herself, they get into a deep depression and Gemini's love having fun. They love having fun. So you're a Scorpio who loves to have fun. So you're just like you're a Scorpio and a Gemini, pretty much. So that's the best way I could put it. Sorry girl, I forgot to do your masculine and feminine energy. So your masculine energy is three and your feminine is seven. Now, this is not a bad thing, okay? It's, this does not, again, I'm going to say this because I just said this in another video. When you have high mass, if you're a woman who has high masculine energy, this does not mean that you want to be a man. And if you have high energy and feminine energy and you're a woman, this, is not, this doesn't mean that you're weak. Um, and same for men. It's the same thing, vice versa. Um, so you have a lot of feminine energy, which means you probably are more mental than physical. You, you're nurturing you're caring you're probably the mother if you, like if you can like if you have like a group of friends or even like with family you're like the mother you take care of people um you have your moments when you probably are aggressive and you probably are assertive and you know how to stand for yourself but at the same time you probably don't you want peace and you don't want to fight and things like that so and you probably don't like to do a lot of physical labor at your job. Doesn't mean that you probably, I mean, you probably do work a job that's very physical, but you probably don't like it that much, you know. So, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Your birth chart was very simple and very easy to do. Um, so, again, if you want, like, a life chart reading, um, meaning, like, life chart, <laughs> life number chart reading, or not even a chart, just a life number reading, um let me know and uh i'll do that for you um i will send you this link so you can watch it and to anybody else who wants that just let me know everything's in the description and i will see y'all when i see y'all bye